Great news. I feel much better. And Casey Neistat is back on YouTube. It is a good day. My cousin moved to Spain and apparently she was getting rid of this and my mother bought it at my grandma's garage sale or something. I don't know. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn, that smells good. <laughs> it feels really good to feel good. Is that redundant? We need to talk about Empire. So today, Adventure Archives is going to hit 17,000 subscribers with any luck. I have not done one of these excitement videos about that, but I'm pretty excited about 17,000. That's good. So I'm not sure if you guys have been able to tell, but I've been spending a lot more time in the sun. And that's because I spend so much time indoors that I feel like a vampire. And I feel like it's really wrong to not let your body know what time it's day and what time it's night. Look good, gonna sit in the sun and get naked. <coughs> oh man, that feels good. You want some treats, homeboy? Maybe you want some food, you want some food? I'll now be watching Dustin Wright's first YouTube video. If I remember, I will link it. Otherwise, Dustin, please post a comment and post your video. All right, we've hit the trail. We're taking the west. All right, Dustin, excellent work on your first video. Some very beautiful shots in there. If you guys would like, check out that video. But it made me think that I still have not done a video showing you exactly what I shoot with. So I'm going to do a rundown, and I'm going to show you why right now. First up is the camera. This is the Sony a7S Mark II. The main reason that I have this camera, it can shoot video in the dark and still have a really clean image. So right now I'm shooting with two different cameras and notice how much cleaner the a7S is. It's just a much better looking picture in the dark. The next great thing about this camera is that it shoots at 4K resolution. For those of you who don't know, the traditional HD resolution is 1920 by 1080 pixels. 4K is double that, which is 3840 by 2160. So what does that look like? If you're watching on your computer, you might be able to tell the difference, but this is 4K and this is traditional HD 1080p. Obviously this does not look as good, so let's go back to 4K. So next up, very underrated thing, but very important, is what microphone do I use? I use the Rode VideoMic Pro, which is this small microphone that you put on top of the camera. And if you wanna know the exact settings that I use for the Sony camera, you put it on zero dB on the mic, and you set your camera to 11 dB. And if you're curious on what picture profile I use, I use picture profile two, just because I like the way it looks. So this is what it looks like with no picture profile. And this is what it looks like on picture profile two. And I have two different lenses for the camera. The first one that I use most often is the 16 to 35 millimeter F4 lens. So for those of you who don't know anything about cameras, the first number, 16 to 35, refers to how far it zooms in. Right now we're at 16 millimeters. If I zoom in, this is 35 millimeters. So the higher the number, the closer it's zoomed in. The second number I will explain with the next lens, which is the 55 millimeter F1.8. This lens is much more zoomed in. The 1.8 number, what that refers to is how big the aperture is. And what aperture controls is how much light gets into the camera. But what it also controls is how blurry the background is. So you notice how the background is nice and blurry behind me. If we close down the aperture, then the background will become less blurry. So right here, the aperture is set at F18, which is a very small hole. It's kind of counterintuitive because it's a ratio. So the higher the number, the smaller the diameter. The smaller the number, the bigger the diameter. So 1.8 is a very large opening where you can get nice and blurry backgrounds. Right now we have it to a very small diameter, so the background is not blurry. And so the reason that I have the 16 to 35 is so that I can do shots like this. The camera's right in my face, but you can still see everything. 
And the reason I have this lens is because it's one of the best looking lenses and produces very cinematic shots. Those two together are usually all I need. I would like to have a telephoto lens where I could zoom in more, but I'll get one of those eventually. Okay, so next up are batteries. I carry a blue pouch for unused fresh batteries. And I carry a red pouch for used batteries. So whenever we're on a trip, this bag gradually gets empty this bag gradually gets filled. This is a new addition I just caught. It's called a hood eyes, but it is a hood to put over the viewfinder like that. So when you're outside shooting in the sun, you can press it right up to your eye and it blocks out all the sun so that you can look at what you're actually filming. I also have a second camera and it's really helpful for things like interviews where if you're doing a shot like this, you can cut away and it makes it easier to edit because if you have mistakes, you can cut to the other camera and it looks much more natural than just doing a jump cut. And instead, you can cut from one camera to the other. So my secondary camera is the Sony a6300 with the 16 to 35 millimeter lens. Now there's three things that make this camera really great. The first one is the size. Look at how small this camera is. The second one is the incredible picture quality. It shoots at 4K also, and it actually has a better image than the A7S, which I'm shooting with right now, if you have enough light. But the third thing, and probably the killer app of this camera, is that it has incredibly quick autofocus and very accurate. First up is the Steadicam. I had a whole vlog episode on this, but basically it gives you very smooth shots. One thing I do want to point out though, that nobody ever tells you this, but you need to have a quick release plate. If you look at this right here, you attach this base plate to this base plate, and then you attach this quick release thing to the camera. This little unit slides into one twist of this, and it's tightened, and then your camera's on there very securely. All right, and next we've got the big boy tripod, but the real magic happens in what is called a fluid drag head. So you can get shots that are very smooth like this. Do not underestimate the power of a simple camera move. The number one thing you can do to improve the quality of your videos is stop shooting handheld. Any camera shape will immediately not look cinematic or good. But even in, in vlogs, like if I could make the shots perfectly smooth and steady, I would do that every time. And that last piece of equipment is the drone. There's really not much to say about it other than the fact that it flies in the sky and records video. The battery only gives you about 25 minutes of flight. So you kind of have to make your shots count. Okay, I think that's it for my video production equipment. If you have questions about my video equipment, I will be happy to answer them and I will make a follow-up video with all of the answers. That's it, hope that was helpful. The Allegheny public release is out. So if you have not watched that yet, stop watching this dumb video and go watch that instead. My mother is using this meat slicer to make the jerky. In the past, we've done this with a knife and just by hand, but this makes it much easier. So what spices do you put in there? Cumin, fish sauce, oregano, onion powder, garlic powder. Okay, and now that will soak overnight. Then tomorrow, we'll dry it. And then that's it. First thing when I get up, I'll dry it. Then. Okay, that is going to do it for today's vlog. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. I think I'll read Game of Thrones. Maybe play on my phone. I haven't decided which yet.